Hello fellow Vive users, and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 mods you can do to your HTC Vive in order to improve your overall experience. So let's get started. The first mod is very nice and simple. It's a way of improving the sound quality by just simply taping on a cloth in front of the Vive's inbuilt microphone, and the cloth serves as a pop filter, preventing you from spiking the volume when blowing into the microphone. Here is a comparison before and after the mod. This has been recorded without the cloth. This has been recorded with the cloth over the microphone. As you have heard, the first clip has a lot more peaking in the sound because the cloth is not over the microphone. This is especially noticeable towards the end of the clip. Of course, the difference isn't massive, but there is an improvement. The second mod is a little bit more difficult to do, but it allows you to directly power your HTC Vive from your computer's power supply rather than using a wall socket. In order to do this mod, you will need a male Molex connector, a 1.35mm cable, and a power supply with plenty of headroom. Once you are finished with the soldering, make sure all the voltages are correct using a multimeter. The correct voltage should be roughly 12 volts. And there you go, you have one more free socket and you finally have a reason to have that overkill power supply. This mod is by far the easiest one to do on this list, but it is also one of the most effective ones. It consists of moving the foam pads around your eyes, just a bit lower than their intended position. This improves FOV and clarity. The distance you want to displace them by will of course depend on the shape of your face. For me, I found that putting them down completely worked well. If your Vive's headphones fall out all the time, this mod will be perfect for you. First of all, put the left headphone where the right ear will be and you will see why that is in a moment, and then put the headphone cable under the velcro. Now do the same exact thing for the other headphone, and right now as you can see the headphones they are flipped, so that way the right headphone fits perfectly in your left ear and vice versa. Last but not least, a paracord controller strap. The straps that come with the HTC Vive are very fragile, so they break very easily. So therefore, we need a stronger controller strap, and what better way to do that than by using paracord. Start off by cutting your paracord to a suitable length, and then removing the inner strands. Next, cut the end at a shallow angle to make a pointed tip. Next, put it through the controller strap hole. This might take a little bit of time, but don't worry, you'll get there. Finally, tie a knot on the end. And there you go, a very strong, robust controller strap. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content from me in the future, remember to click the subscribe button. Here are some other videos that you may want to watch.